You are not just standing up for the rights of construction workers, for painters, for scaffolders, for, for all the workers on construction sites. You are standing up for the rights of every worker in this country to have a free union. And let's be clear what Labor has done. They have passed the most draconian, anti-worker, anti-union laws this country has ever seen. Shame. Shame! What these laws do is let the Minister take control of the CFMEU, sell its assets if it wishes, take control of all of its money, fire workers, regardless of whether or not they've even been accused of wrongdoing, place the entire union into administration and to deny every construction worker in this union access to natural justice, the rule of law and a presumption of innocence, innocence and I say shame. shame. Yeah. Labor though, this is, why is this an attack not just on construction workers but on every worker in this country? Because Labor has set a dangerous precedent. What they have done is handed every future Labor or Liberal government a blueprint on how to seize control of any trade union or civil society association they don't like and crush it. And that is disgraceful. Now look, everyone here opposes corruption. Everyone here opposes misogyny. But it should not be controversial to say that allegations should be tested in a court through a fair trial. Instead, Labor has used these untested allegations as an excuse to attack an entire union. And let's be clear, that union is everyone here today, not any individual. It is all of you here today, and they have attacked all of you. And what are these destructive laws really about? Because why is it that no bank was placed into administration after the Banking Royal Commission found clear evidence of fraud, bribery and financial abuse that, let's be clear, destroyed people's lives. Why was no bank placed into administration? Why is it that when the negligence of big corporations and developers leads to the deaths of workers or stolen wages, why is it none of those corporations ever get placed into administration? It was reported in the media today that the administrator was forcing CFMEU social media pages to delete posts promoting this rally. And I thought this whole process was about cracking down on wrongdoing, not suppressing our basic democratic right to free protest. Now, here's I think a bit of a clue about what this is really about. Because the Federal Labor Housing Minister said, th said this morning, it was absolutely our hope that this action would make building easier, quicker and cheaper. Now, oh, you know what that means? Construction workers being paid lower wages. You know what that means? Bosses forcing workers to cut corners and placing their lives in danger. You know what quicker, easier and cheaper means? Can more construction workers dying on construction sites. And that is outrageous. And let's be clear, all of you today organised in this powerful union in the CFMU, your union has saved lives. Your union has, has meant that men and women on construction sites can go home to their families safe in the knowledge that they have a collective workers' movement that defends their rights. Your union, your union means your union means that every worker with an EBA negotiated by the CFMEU uh, means fair wages, means safe conditions, means a good life for you because you are the ones building the wealth in this country. And Labor tries to blame construction workers, and this is a sick joke, Labor tries to blame construction workers for the housing crisis. How dare they? And a message, and a message to the Labor Party. We're in a housing crisis because Labor and the Liberals cut funding for public housing, not because of construction workers. We're in a housing crisis because Labor and the Liberals give big tax handouts to wealthy property investors, not because of construction workers. We're in a housing crisis because Labor and the Liberals chose big profits for banks, property developers and big corporations over the lives of the millions of renters and mortgage holders in this country. 
And media and the Labour and Liberal politicians will try to paint everyone here today as radicals. You'll see it in the media tonight. You'll be dismissed as radicals, you'll be defamed, your character will be attacked. But it is not radical to believe that a construction worker deserves the same rights to a fair trial as a banker, CEO or politician. It is not radical to believe that allegations of wrongdoing should be tested in a court, not by politicians. It is not radical to believe that union workers should have the democratic right to determine the destiny of your own union. And it is not radical to believe that construction workers should have the right to strike to protect your rights, your wages and your conditions. Indeed, the real radicals, the real radicals are the Labour and Liberal politicians who have, on the basis of untested allegations, set a precedent where politicians can act as the judge, jury and executioner, making a mockery of natural justice and the rule of law. And look, you should know this, and I see it down in Parliament all the time. The strength of construction workers does not come from asking a Labour government for scraps. It does not come from a few officials going on to get careers in the Labour Party. The strength of your union comes from the organised, collective strength of you as construction workers. And, let me, and let's be clear, the political class hates you for that. But you should wear it as a badge of honour. So I'm here today for a few reasons. One, because last year, when we were fighting for public housing and renters' rights, do you know who stood with us? The only union that stood with us? CFMEU workers. CFMEU workers. I'm here because when the rights of workers are under attack, I believe it is our responsibility to stand with those workers and defend them. But look, ultimately, I'm here because I believe in a political movement that takes on the power of big corporations, developers and the banks and redistributes that wealth in favour of ordinary working people. That gives people the housing, healthcare, education that we all need to live a good life. And let's be very clear, the only way we will win that future is with a powerful, organised construction union that stands up not just for all of you, but for the teachers, for the nurses, for the cleaners, for any worker in this country. They need a powerful construction union, and that's why I'm here today. Thank you. Yeah. Another big cheer for Max and the Green!